So this is a pretty simple application. Let's increase its complexity a little bit by adding an additional page and seeing what's in common between our original page, our index.php file, and this new one. So let's go to our resource pack directory and let's copy the sixth step, which is called by.php, adding a second page, and go over to our examples folder. I'm gonna close up the vendor folder and I'm going to paste in the by.php file and rename it to by.php. Let's open this up. So if we compare this with our index.php file, before we added all of those commented out examples, it would look almost identical to this. We're creating a request, we're creating a response, and then we're sending it. Nothing fancy here. The only thing we're doing differently is we're not grabbing anything from the query string. If we go to the browser to check it out, I'm just gonna replace index.php with by.php. You'll see it says goodbye. I'm gonna jump back to the editor. Now seeing how much these two files have in common, it would make sense to pull that common code into a single file. So typically the first step would be creating an include file. So we'll start out with that and then we'll move on to take a look at why using a front controller makes more sense. Jump to your resource pack directory, and we're gonna copy this seventh step called init.php, adding a header include file. And we're gonna paste it inside of our examples folder, and we'll rename it init.php. Let's open this up in an editor to take a look. So if we compare init.php with by.php, let's do that. I'll go back to our examples folder. I'll select these two files and we'll compare them inside of our uh, comparison tool. So we have by.php over here and init.php over here. And so on this side, we're creating a new response and passing it a value. Over in init, we're not passing it a value just yet. In our by.php, we did a send, but we're not going to do a send yet in our init.php because it's going to be included first, then we're going to add content to the request, and then we're going to send it. So now let's update our index.php and our by.php to use this init.php file. Let's go to the resource pack directory, and let's open up step eight, which is index.php using include file. Let's copy the code that's in here and then jump over to our index.php file and paste it over what's there and save it. So now we're including our init.php, which sets up our request and response objects. We're grabbing our name as the input, and then we're using the setContent method in order to set the content of the response after the response object has been created. Otherwise, this looks identical to our previous step in index.php. Now let's convert by.php over. So I'm gonna jump back to the resource pack directory and open up step nine, by.php, using include file. And we'll copy this code and paste it over the code that's currently in by.php and save it. Again, we're including the init file, we're setting the content, and then we're sending the response. 